and welcome. My name is Leon Lavatsa, working with Kenya HMIS2 project. I'm going to take you through the installation of the interoperability layer in Ubuntu Linux environment. The first step is to obtain the correct installation package from GitHub Palladium releases page, download it and save it in an appropriate location in your machine. Once you have saved the installation package, access it through the terminal. For example, I have saved mine on the desktop. To run the installation, you need to access the installation package through the terminal. To open or access the terminal, press Control Alt and letter T key simultaneously on your keyboard. The terminal opens. Now you need to navigate to the installation package which you saved in your machine. To do this, type CD followed by the file path of the installation package. For example, I saved my installation package on the desktop. Therefore, I'm going to write the file path of the installation package which is on the desktop. Press enter. Once you press enter, you will notice that the dollar sign has moved to the very front of the file path. This shows you that you have successfully accessed the installation package. Once inside the installation package, you need to make sure that the installation script is executable. To make the installation script executable, you will run the following command. sudo chmod a plus x install dot sh. Once you've typed in that, press enter, sudo, then insert a full stop, followed by a slash, and type install dot sh. Once you have typed this, press enter. The script will start running. You will then be prompted to input your database name. The database that we are using is open MRS. You will then be prompted for the database password. The default database password is test. Type in tests and press enter. Once the installation has finished and you have been redirected back to the prompt, navigate to the Mozilla Firefox web browser and on the address bar, type in localhost full colon 5000 to access the interoperability layer. If you get a web page as shown, this confirms that the interoperability layer has been successfully installed. Thank you.